Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Jeff Chanel's 40s World where we have celebrity news and news that just makes the internet. Okay? I felt sorry. I felt so bad that this particular video did not have the visuals uh, going when I first put it out. You know the one that um, Mendeecee Yandy's uh, old lady gang where well, Mendeecee's was in town because I think Yandy has a uh, scent store or perfume store down here in Atlanta and he wanted to go partake of some good food because Andy and Candy are good friends for him what I hear. Okay, but you know Yandy's husband went over there to the OLG game. You know the one that tall I thought of. I'm like, he really stopped at the top of his head for naming three old women. The old lady got an hour out of and they ain't old women, they seasoned women. But, Miss Bertha, I don't know Bertha, Candy's aunt, one of her favorite aunts. Well, she was trying to push up on Yandy's husband. Yeah, man, do you see, son? She was like, meaning Bertha. She, she don't care about this half at home. She don't care about this family. If man, Deuce needed somewhere to lay his weary head. He can definitely come over to her house. So pretty, pretty much, he put um, Yandy on blast. Like, if you don't want them, girl, I'm a cougar. I can have them. Yes, that's Miss Bertha Candy's dear aunt in the middle. In the middle of there with the white and black shirt. Looking all cute. And that's a better picture of her as well. At the OL gang, gang establishment. The one in the little blue and white shirt to your right of the screen. Yes, and then you got the striped one with the little wear glasses she got on, looking like Bobby Warmack back in the day. Your frame's not, not the visual, okay? So don't come for me because I like Bertha myself. But Bertha is one aunt that you want in your family to fight for you, to love on you, and do all of that. Miss Nora on the left, she's a sweet little woman. I actually saw her at one of my jobs. So I think she was visiting um, her physician or something in another um office part in the office part we were at. I, I, I saw her. I saw her. Threw my hand up. She didn't know who I was. She threw her hand up too. I was too far to go say, hey, hey. You know, I like seeing you on TV but you need candy. You know what I'm saying? But it just is what it is when you're time for me to associate. Okay? But yes, I did see Miss Laura from afar. Seems like a nice lady on TV. I'm pretty sure she is a nice lady. But Miss Candy Bird, not like Candy Girl, we don't need to have no more news about you and your restaurant because they say that you have been flunking uh your inspections left and right child i'm like get some management in there just have your name up there don't have nobody working for you and a part of your family is what i'm saying get some real established people in there that know about the restaurant business and how to cater to them you don't need to be there just come visit like you're a celebrity just visit your own uh spot here and there Take autographs and keep it moving. But no, honey, that you don't need to have your folks up in there if they ain't going to act right. If they ain't going to keep the establishment, meaning the restaurant establishment, kosher, okay? Everything's on point. You can eat off the floor, the table, and eat all that good stuff. But they say you got different people saying different things. Your food is good. Your food is not good. It looks pretty good, but I, I don't know. They say you are uh, charging for parking, too. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I live in Atlanta. I just haven't had the time and the inclination to want to come down there. But I don't know. You might see me, you know, when COVID let up. I ain't going to tell you who I am. I'm just going to be in there, you know, visiting. I'm taking of the um, appetizers or the food menu, okay? And chicken is one of my favorites. So, you know, you got that going on. But my first time out there trying to be a cougar, y'all. My first time out there trying to be a cougar. She said. Hey, and I thought Miss Bertha was married. Somebody put down in the comments that y'all think the same thing. I thought she had a husband. Maybe he died, or maybe they got divorced, and they just kept it uh, on the hush hood. I don't know. But I like when you make TV, I want to see some of your life too, you know? But I guess that's just me, you know? I don't know. Okay, but I'm just saying. Well, yeah, I just felt sorry that I had did a, I feel excellent peace. On uh, Miss Bertha Candy Burris's uh, aunt, on um, jokingly, of course, you know. I know Miss Bertha. You probably want to go back in her time. We all do, just for a brief moment to show that we still got it. But Miss Bertha, you know, Mandy, so I hurt you. 
in all the wrong places. I was trying to throw you up against the wall, having your rough sex and all that stuff. He'll put you in traction somewhere. So, man, bro, come on, you sit down. Go get you a cougar, honey. Y'all just live up to our glory years on a porch, rocking chair, by the beach or in the mountains somewhere, honey. So that time has passed. We can always fantasize. We can always fantasize. So I find myself doing that too. But I see it with an older gentleman. I'm going to see it with no young gentleman. Ain't no young man do that for me. I'm sorry. I'm just not a cool guy. Okay. Maybe I'm a senior person. <laughs> but that's all I had on this piece, honey. Man, Jesus even said, if you had this slip on him, he going to come look up Miss Bertha. I mean, Bertha can cook. She look good. She got some business about herself. She's business oriented. And shoot, you know how to take care of her man. Yep, that's Miss Bertha in the middle. Okay, and then her sister Nora on the left was uh, concurring. Like, yeah, Miss Bertha will make a nice wife for you, honey. If Candy get to, not Candy, but uh, if Yandy get to slipping, okay? And even, you know, Yandy even put her little spin in and said, yeah, she got to watch her back. She got to tighten up because, you know, if she ever wanted to get rid of him, she knew he ended up in a happy home and a happy family, and they going to feed him well and take care of him. <laughs> but all of it was a joke. It was in fun. I, I found it very comical because I never really thought or put any any effort that Miss um, uh, Bertha, was down with the uh, young thing, okay? I never thought she was down with the young thing, but I guess you never get old in your mind. Your body might get old, but your mind don't, and your mind be tempting you and tricking you at the same time, thinking you can run them sprints. You can jump up without getting dizzy. You can go chase a man half your age, and, and uh, a little over half your age, and you can win. Girl, that's all in your mind. It ain't all to be true, honey. Ah, oh, Miss Bertha, Miss Bertha, Miss Bertha. Don't break up the happy home. Let them just go on in peace. Let them live in harmony. But I know Mendeecy's father said, I got me a home. And he probably joked with his wife today. Hey, I'm going back to Atlanta. You slip up. Miss Bertha said she got a nice bed for me or a cot or a, couch, a nice couch with some amenities. I'm going to always be fed. When I get sick, she always going to be there to take care of me. And, and I'm going to be living good while you can with these children running around. But Miss Bertha probably ain't going to let the children come over to the house. If she did, she's going to feed them well and send them on their way. And I'm going to be like, yeah, it's fine to send them on their way back to their mama. But y'all, that's all I have for this video. I wanted to come back, like I said, and kind of straighten out the boo-boo because y'all had that black screen. Y'all just had me talking and y'all didn't have the visuals. And I don't like going out like that. So just to think that this, this is part two of a missing video. But that is a pretty family. Uh, Miss Bertha Candy and Miss Nora. And of course, we cannot forget Mama Joyce. I can't wait to see the spinoff that Candy is going to give us. Because, you know, Miss Bertha, when Sharon, uh, what's name, Todd, mother was living, she said that, that his daddy was a pimp and she was a hoe. I said, uh-uh, uh Miss, uh-uh, Miss, um, Miss, um. What's up, Miss Joyce? No, Mama Joyce. No, Mama Joyce. And I like Candy got her hands full, child. <laughs> yeah, I used to say Candy just don't just don't have no, you know. Well, you know, I'm not gonna throw salt on Candy anymore. I'm not gonna do it because the woman be trying. Cause she she got to take care of her family members, so she got to try to make all of them happy. That's just how she is. And uh, let her live, honey. Just let her live. But it all comes back to her because she's the one in the spotlight. She's the one that brought them into our homes on the, on our television screens. And, you know, she brought, she brought the trouble. So we'll have her out and, and look at it and talk about it and, and love them all at the same time, okay? I'm just not one of them people that want to put myself on front, front street like that, okay? Because, girl, I'd probably be a billionaire by now if I let y'all into my life and show y'all how I get down. Uh, it'll be on the real, real. <laughs> y'all can, and y'all probably can possibly identify with some of the things that I be going through, okay, and trying to get through. But y'all, that's all I got of this video. Y'all enjoy it, partake of it, and I will see y'all next time with another video on is it a celebrity or is it a wannabe celebrity? And right now, those are two celebrities in my eyes, Candy and her aunts. And of course, we cannot forget Mama Joyce, but right now we're focusing on Bertha. Okay, birth of the cougar. Okay, but y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.